welcome to configurations and today we have the Lenovo A536 here and we're going to do a complete review of this device so first of all I would like to thank Mobilis for providing this device for review so thank you Mobilis tools and now let's take a look at the device you could see uh, this is the Lenovo A536 and they have also providing uh, this uh, rubberized flip cover with this device so which is very nice so we can actually remove it from here you could see this is the cover that uh, it, uh, it comes with it so that's very nice so we don't have to buy another one so that's really nice and you can see this is a device and uh, the design seems pretty much elegant I can see they have provided a silver lining on the front side uh, which looks pretty neat I can say and uh, uh, let me just take a look at the key placements you can see the front panel has a 2 megapixel camera of uh, speaker grill in here you can see a fine display and uh, the, the three capacity buttons on the bottom side on the right hand side they have provided the volume blockers and the unlock key both are provided on the right hand side and they have provided some dotted finish on the edges of these uh, sides uh, or which, which, really need, which really feels good when you hold the device in hand. It, it offers some grip so the device has a, go a glossy finish but uh, because of that a little uh, dotted finish uh, the device grips pretty nicely in hand so that's really nice and on top side you could see 3.5mm audio jack and USB 2.0 and left hand side they have left completely blank there is nothing in there and the bottom you could see um, a voice reception a mic here on the back panel you could see they have provided a glossy finish uh, which makes it uh, very prone to the fingerprints so uh, you will get a lot of fingerprints so that's the only demerit that I could find in the design the, the back panel is completely glossy and it has a, it attracts a lot of fingerprints so that's it that's it and you could see the Lenovo logo here of I'm absolute camera LED flash and a noise cancellation mic here and the bottom side you could see is critical here so so the things that I would like to say about the design let me just take off uh, this back panel for you and show you what are the things inside this device as you can see it's very really easy to open and you can see the device supports a 2005, uh, 2000 milliampere battery uh, two sim slots here this i think this is the sim one and uh, let me just make sure it so you can see this is the sim one and this is the sim two and we have the battery here and you can see the micro sd card slot so these are all about the design of this device uh, so overall the design aspect of the device is really nice uh, the device has not got the Gorilla Glass protection or any other scratch resistant coating in this device so that's a little disappointing but uh, overall considering the device I must say this is really nicely designed the device actually comes in the 9500 uh, price range in mobile stores so uh, considering that aspect I must say this device is really nicely done so I will give a 7.5 out of 10 as a rating for this device design so um, that's it so now let's turn on the device and see uh, what are the things inside it so yeah you can see the device actually supports a fine inch display with a resolution of uh, 418 to 854 pixels and uh, the device actually supports android kitkat version so that's latest so in that aspect also the device is quite nice i will be seeing uh, in detail of this uh, software of the device in this review so let me just you can see i have got a vibration here so it is really really fast booting there is not much time taken so i think in the first impression i can say this device is pretty much smooth uh, really nicely done uh, but i feel the icons are quite large uh, uh, it's not usual size that you find in all the devices it's a little, little bit larger than that and if you take it the dialer you could see the dialer is uh, customized but not that much customized it's, it's pretty neatly customized I can see uh, but there's not much uh, to say about that let's go to the messaging uh, you could see they have provided a little very little customizations they haven't gone for very heavy customization you could see uh, it doesn't support shift key also the, the input I let me just go into the input you could see the response of the device is quite nice so the touch uh, I think it's touch is really nice I can see so let's go back uh, and let, let's go into the drop down menu of the device and see what are the submissions there so you can see the drop down menu uh, this is a notification and uh, let me go into the no uh, drop down you could see that uh, they have provided a lot of shortcuts battery settings so Wi-Fi Bluetooth GPS airplane mode data connection data usage uh, brightness auto rotation uh, messaging APN hotspot though you, the device actually supports a uh, Wi-Fi hotspot and the cast screen feature that means that you can actually uh, stream your videos in the Wi-Fi enable the TVs and all that thing so that's really nice so uh, that's about quick shortcuts that is provided in this device let's go into settings and let me show you how much amount of RAM and memory is there so you can see the device has an option to choose the install location that's also nice 
and uh, you could see the phone storage uh, has actually 8 GB of internal memory and you could see up to 4.43 GB is available for the user so that's quite nice uh, you will get about 4.43 GB and it's completely unified you don't have any other partition so you can actually install apps till the 4.43 GB is empty so that's very nice I really like that feature really nicely so that's it, that's it. let's go into the apps and uh, let me show you the RAM available in this device so you could see uh, the device actually supports 1 GB of RAM so I will expect uh, I could see the 655 MB is free so there is a lot of RAM uh, free in this device so the device doesn't have much customization so obviously you will get a lot of RAM in this device so the performance wise this device will be really nice because there is a lot of RAM uh, left in this device for usage so that's very very nice aspect so let's be, let me go into the video playback of the device and let me show you uh, the display quality and the video playback you could see the device gallery is uh, really nicely customized you have all the previews here that you can see that there's a lot of preview uh, if, if, in, of videos available uh, in the in, in the first look itself that gives a very convenience in, in opening a video so that's very nice let me just go into the image and show you the image quality here so you could see this is an image and let me just zoom it for you so you could see that the zooming is also quite smooth there is not much issues but uh, I must say the touch response is not that great you could see when I move my finger very fast it is not able to detect it so uh, uh, I'm not sure whether it's it's a, it's a it's a problem of the processor or it's a touch touch of this device. So we'll be seeing uh, in in this detail uh, in the later part of the review. So I think it is because of the touch. It is not that that great in the case of zooming. So uh, uh, that's it about the uh, the dis the zooming aspect. Let, let's go into the display quality. So let let me just take you to the viewing angles. You can see the viewing angles are quite nice. Uh, from all three angles the device has a uh, very nice viewing angles but when you when you turn this device to this angle you can see there is a little little uh, there is we can't really see that much clear the image so there is a little distortion in this angle so uh, the the viewing angles are not that uniform as you expect so that's a little disappointing uh, but uh, overall display quality is nice i can say let's go into the uh, 18720p uh, video playback and let me show you that uh, the UI of the device is quite nice. I can say there is not much lag. Uh, you could see that this is a video playback. Let me just turn on the sound for you. So you can see uh, the volume of the device is quite. It's not that loud, but it's enough uh, for uh, normal usage. So uh, the, the sound is quite nice. So you could see that uh, the video playback is quite smooth. Uh, there is not much. Uh, buffering in the skipping uh, in 720p video this is actually 720p video and you could see it's quite smooth there is no issue so i can say 720p video playback is a but free smooth but let me just check out the 180p videos here you could see this is a 180p video and i'm going to play that for you so you could see there's little lag in the 180p video i can see here so you could see this little lag or one second lag i can say sometimes the device is a little uh, buffering is there but uh, overall the device uh, video playback is quite smooth so there's no issue so uh, considering that aspect the device is nice so we have seen the display quality and uh, the video playback uh, considering the display quality I must say this device is quite nice in the case of display except the fact that there's little, uh, a little, little variation in the viewing angles uh, except one angle the, all the other angle, viewing angles are really nice so uh, I must say this device uh, display quality is nice and I will give what 6.25 as a display rating for this device uh, so uh, let's uh, let's go into the camera interface of the device and see uh, what are the customizations in there. Let me just go into camera interface. So you can see uh, you can see the camera, and I must say uh, the device has got a 5 megapixel camera and a 2 megapixel front facing camera. I will be doing a review of both this uh, in detail. So you can see this is a cube, and uh, I'm gonna just focus you fo focus it for you. And you can see it's quite quick focusing. There's not much time taken and let me just go into the settings here and so that you could see what are the options there and you could see a lot of options provided GPS location you can adjust exposure, color effects, scene mode you can actually use a night uh, a sunset all these modes are available and uh, uh, image properties you could see that you can adjust the image uh, quality and all those things so you can also adjust that that's really nice so you can also have anti flicker settings let me go into the picture mode you could see that the serial shot delay mode is available face detection is available so if you take uh, turn on this serial shot delay mode the uh, the image capturing will be much faster so that's very nice because face detection is available smile shot is available hdr is available auto scene detection is available self timer frame shot continuous shot picture size you can adjust picture, picture size in here 
previous size ISO. Let me go into the video size. You can see EIA is available. That is image stabilization is available in this device. Uh, auto mode is available. Time lapse uh, video format. You could actually change the format to MP4 if you want. And the video quality you can actually record in 720p video. Uh, that's very nice. So let's take a look at the image quality of the device. I'm going to take an image here. So you can see it's very very responsive. There's not much time taken for image capturing. So let me just go into the detailing of the image. You could see the images are quite decent. I can say there is not much noise. Uh, the focusing are quite nice. So I must say the device has a very nice uh, camera. I can say there is not much issues. Uh, there is no much delay in capturing. So that's very nice. And I will take a look at the uh, at the video recording. You could see I'm going to record this video. You could see we can actually record. Uh, videos and you can focus to whatever point you want so that's a very nice feature and also you can take images uh, instantly so that's also nice so we have a, a very nice uh, camera customizations in this device so you won't be having any other problem in the video or ca capturing of a camera ui of the device it's really really nicely designed and you can see it's 720p video that we have uh, got here that's very nice and let's go into the you, could, you can also see a lot of features you can directly get it from here that is panorama all these things are here you can actually slide down and get it and you can actually enable the hdr mode that is also available in this device and let me just go into the front camera you can see the front camera doesn't support uh, touch focus but uh, it has actually a two megapixel camera i can say it's very decent uh, for the price that's what you can see the the two camera is quite nice so, Considering this aspect, uh, the front and the back camera of the device is uh, quite nice. So uh, the camera department of the device is not strongest, but uh, it is uh, quite nice for this device. So I will give a camera rating of uh, 7.5 out of 10 in the case of camera rating because this device got a 720p video recording in 5 megapixel camera and uh, a good uh, autofocus and touch focus, smile detection, face detection, all these things are there. So I will give uh, 7.5 in the case of camera department. So let's go into the uh, detailed. Uh, specification of the device so let me go into cpu set let me show you what are the things in that device you could see the device sports mediatek processor mediatek mt6582 processor clocked at 1.30 gigahertz and you could see the four four cores are there and uh, uh, you can say the mali 400 mp is the is the gpu in this device and i'm sure that it will end a pretty nice uh, gpu configuration for this device because this device doesn't have a hd display it's only uh, 418 to 854 pixels is the resolution of the display, so it, there won't be any problem in the in the performance uh, of this device. You can see the sensors, uh, the accelerometer and proximity sensor is the only sensors that you got in this device. So it's obvious that you won't have any option to adjust the auto brightness in this device. So let me just confirm that. So you can see that the brightness option there they have not provided the auto brightness. That's because the device doesn't have the ambient light sensor so that's a little disappointing that much bad in this device so you could see the touch uh, the device only supports a two finger touch i have already done the benchmark and you could see it doesn't support more than two fingers so that's also disappointing but uh, the, for the price range considering the old specification is quite nice let me just go into the uh, nina mark 2 benchmark uh, you could see that I have already run the Mark 2. I don't have to do it again. And you could see it's 67.1 FPS, which is a very nice score for the price. Uh, it's really, really nice high score I have got in any other devices. So 67.1 FPS in Mark 2 is really nice. Uh, I think the reason for that is the resolution that is uh, 418 to 854 and a good GPU. So the resolution is low and the, the, the GPU is really nice. So you will get about 67.7 uh, FPS in the Mark 2. That's very really nice. You could see it's Android 2 scores here. And uh, I have got a decent score, I can say 18,153 is the score that I have got in this device, 92 benchmark. And you could see the detailed score here, multitask is 3520, runtime is 1420, and uh, RAM operation is 1202, uh, RAM speed is 1018, CPU is 101992, CPU float is 1655, 2D is 974, 3D is 4827, storage is 915, database is 630. So considering this aspect, I must say the benchmarks of the device is quite nice for the price. Uh, I must say the, the performance uh, will be really nice in this device. So we have seen the hardware of the device and I must say it's, it's, it's pretty much nice for the price except the fact that this device is in a port. Uh, uh, touch uh, two point touch that's the only defect that I found in the hardware but except that the device has got pretty much nice performing hardware so I will get, give a hardware rating of 7.25 uh, of uh, 7, 7 that will be what I will be giving for the hardware because I found it pretty really good uh, except the fact the device has got a two point touch everything about this hardware is really nice so that's it about this device and uh, the device actually supports a 2000 mAh battery and you could see 
I have said to use this device at about uh, 12, 8 at 99 percentage of battery and you could see it's about 1, 7 that means about 1 hour is uh, passed off and you could see it's 89 percentage so there is only 10 percentage drop uh, in this much of time so that's very nice so the battery backup is not that issue in this device you will get a pretty decent battery backup and you will be able to get it uh, about one day there is not any issue about that so so uh, so we have seen all the features of the device and now it's time to say the positives and negatives of the device I must say the positives are the first thing is the display the device even if the device has got a uh, Finds display with 418 to 854 pixels. I can't really see much pixelization, so the display quality is the first thing. Uh, and also, the viewing angles are not that good, but display is up. overall the display is really nice for the price. So I must say, the display is the first thing. And the second thing is the camera. Um, we have seen the camera performance device has got 5 megapixel camera and a uh, 2 megapixel front camera. Uh, both are really nice uh, in the case of quality. So I must say, the camera is the second thing. And third thing is the UI. The UI is quite nicely done. There is not much issues in any doing any task. They have provided not much customizations, but you have a very smooth UI here, so that's also nice. Uh, and uh, the, the fourth thing in the in the positive is the performance. You will see I have got 50, 67 uh, FPS in the Nina Mark 2 and 18,000 score in the Anti 2, which are both are really nice. So in the case of uh, performance, I must say this device is quite nice. Uh, and the uh, negative things, if you ask me, what are the negative things? The first thing is the touch input. The device doesn't have. Uh, uh, more than you can't really use more than two fingers so the device actually has a uh, two finger touch that's a little disappointing uh, and also the touch is not that much sensitive and uh, the second thing is the device doesn't have the gorilla glass protection so uh, considering the price point uh, they should have provided that also so that's all about uh, the negatives and that's all about the Lenovo A536 and thanks for watching the video and if you like this video please hit like and stay subscribed thank you